Pauls, who everyone absolutely loved, is having a show in London and people are now talking about boycotting it. People are just against. Like, maybe I will see the one where so I will go with all this comment where they see so. All of them are bass bows, bass bows, bass bows. They don't bass bows, but brisky uh, and, and uh, alleged, allegedly wife finished. Not when this whole hula baloo started with the Falunos and Bobrisky and BDM, I did say that I had wished that the Falunos would have seen this thing as an opportunity to further their position as human rights promoters for Nigeria. I posted it on social media and my only intention was so that others might see it, might see that narrative and that it might end up somehow getting to their ears from whatever quarters had their attention. I thought it would be the wise thing to do, to hold that up as what mattered to them. Yes, still uphold their name, their brand, the integrity of their name, but do that more quietly. Yes, of course, you want your name to be cleared. No problem with that, naturally. But not to go as if you care nothing about upholding justice. It's just not a good look on a public figure. More so people who already have what many have seen in the past as a brand name for upholding, upholding human rights. I just can never understand what motivated them to view it in a different way. I don't know. Would it be pride or... I don't know. I, I just don't know. Is it pride that VDM is too little or is it pride in that we're lawyers and so we also know the court system and so we're going to fry you? I really just don't know. Let's begin to break things down when we take action. You see, there is a reason why analysis is important and not just in theory. And the best thing is you can employ it in simple everyday decisions without an expert. All they could have done, what they should simply have done is draw columns and then title them uh, pride, brand, damage, and gains. And if they had simply just taken a look, they would have known that their best bet would have been to just be with VDM on this thing. I cannot understand what possessed them to go the route that they did and now look at the mess that they've gotten themselves in. Look at the mess that they've dragged their name into. It really pains me to see this. I can't lie. I hate when what could have been used for good sons into a fiasco. But you see, this is what will always happen when we don't follow the very simple rule of nature of treating others as we would like to be treated. Nigeria is in a very difficult place and people are fed up and angry and feel oppressed. Someone is fighting against alleged corruption and, and quite quite simply the founders could have just capitalized on this with their posture as human rights defenders. They could have just worked with VDM on this, but instead they have now become a family that the average Nigerian hates. You see, Nigerians are, Nigerians are hungry, so outwardly, they might even act like they're hailing you. But once your back is turned, they will stab you because they hate you. They hate you in their hearts. They hate you now. And now, they're not even hiding it anyway. Look at all the ugly things that are being said about even the daughter, Falano's daughter, who no one knew about. We knew nothing about her prior to this. And now we have all sorts of disparaging information about her all over the place, which I won't go into. I'm not going to go into that. It's annoying and disgusting. And now Falls, who everyone absolutely loved, is having a show in London and people are now talking about boycotting it. This would have been unimaginable before now. I really am very disappointed and it's disheartening. And the Bob Risky, who who is now in the UK, everyone is insinuating that it's Falls that he's talking about, that he's referring to when he's saying he can't wait for them to be together. Well, I don't start to oh. London people, they're not one here. Oh. My people, what's it happen? Hey, hey, I can see comment session. Bob Risky, they London. First, they go London and go do show. Now, Nigerians, though, they tie Bob Risky and fast together, say, that post where Bob Risky made, say, I can't wait to see you soon. <laughs> My godfather, I can't wait to see you soon. If I have a woman, I will give you a baby. Una remember. Now Bob Risky is online thanking his godfather and his partner for, you know, making it possible for him to leave the country. In a post on his uh, social media, he said, uh, it's hard so bad, I can't sing your praise openly in Nigeria. You are my lifesaver. Thank you so much, baby. In my next word, I pray I have a womb to have kids for you. You are a father, a husband, and a mentor. The battle was heavy, but you said, baby, chill. We are going to win. God bless you. I can't wait to see you here next month.
And that one now, now they can say, okay, they don't tie her together. They use red rope. They tie the two of them. They say now, Bob Risky, now he first one go see for London. They say, make any night, if you don't see comment session. They are not even talking of the show. First one go see Bob Risky, which in ways so a loss a lawsuit they cut. What he want go do for London? He want wrong. He, he my people. Many people not go. So come and say they don't tell their friends. Tell who, tell who, tell who, tell who. Make they not enter there. So say make it go call the papa. Make it go attend them. So you can imagine now. Uh, these are the Nigerians who are they oppress. Now the same Nigerian now want go call. Well, yeah, now this family they talk now. Nah. Now the same Nigerians now want go call. We want go need something. Now the same Nigerian now want go say who are you? Don't talk to me like that. Do you know who I am? Now that same Nigeria. You see him? Uh, now this one, now we they talk. We say respect who respect you, but no, now go they say, now go they look down on all this. Cross feet on us every now and then. Make we not comment session. Okay, oh, so this one say, why do I sense that you are one of the Godfather? But Brisky is talking about that he cannot wait to see in London. You you are just using UK show to cover up. So this one say, please and please, Nigerians, nobody should. Go to this year, year show. Hey, FB, we, we even uh, have to thank VDA for exposing corruption. This one said, Bros, I did London, but I won't be there. But you can't be like, yes, something did again. I'm going to look at your song, and the one I will remain, uh, um, look how we live in a everybody like criminal because that's something they make us they remember. See, yes, all of Nana criminal. I don't know see why it's talking. See, everybody like criminal, they say, you are no pure. But only people in Nigeria today that doesn't like him are the, those that are very jealous of him or very envious of him, or those that are mentally derailed. Only among this category will you find the haters of Martin Ose, popularly known as very dark black man, VDM. Otherwise, Nigeria just have a red gem in our hands. Somebody we should guide, somebody we should protect and treasure with all that means dear to us. And yet, you'll see somebody out there saying, you know, like this guy. Any day against VDM, I wonder what they do now. Do you even know the kind of person we have there? The VDM today is more important to Nigeria than the entire 109 members of the Nigerian Senate. Say this, it's better late than never. It's still not too late for them to retrace their steps. It's not too late for people to retrace. It's not too late for the son to retrace his steps. And honestly, let me say categorically that I, although I know that when people are used to being a certain way, it's hard to do things different because the brain has adopted a way of handling things. So to the fans of Femi Falana, I ask you to reflect on something deeper than just court cases and monetary claims, which it seems as if the case between Femi Falana and Very Dark Man is based on. Why Femi Falana is a renowned lawyer with years of experience and many court victories. Can you count the victories he has in court? There's something essential to really consider. Even if he wins a court battle, has he truly connected with the people like Very Dark Man has? Let's step back and look at what Very Dark Man has accomplished within only two years. In that short time, he has captured the art of thousands, rallying people for change and challenging issues that touch everyday Nigerians directly. Barry Darkman's impact goes beyond legal wins in court. It's about the lives he touches and the voices he amplified, such as ours. Now let's talk about Femi Falano's pursuit of 500 million naira. Why such a huge focus on money, when the essence of justice and advocacy goes beyond financial rewards? What could he profit apart from financial gains? And besides, do you know that I am already saving some money? That perhaps he wins very dark man. I would credit very dark. I'll credit very dark man. If not a million or half a million. And Nigerians will contribute and pay him that money. So <laughs> you know, let's take it out of the money case. Then let's ask ourselves, why such huge focus on money when the essence of justice and advocacy goes beyond financial rewards? His track record is impressive for Femi Falana. No doubt. But when he weigh it, when we weigh it against the grassroots impact of Very Dark Man, of what Very Dark Man has actually created, who's really standing by the people? And one crucial point to think about, why focus on Very Dark Man when there are other pressing figures who have openly challenged Falana's reputation by the call that was made by Bobrishki? For instance, even went as far as leaking a record to somebody discussing it on phone, and Very Dark Man was the one who then leaked it to the, pro to the public. Now, the only ground Falana is student standing by is the, the, the one of Inwendo and Inwenda. Inwendo will not pass 30 seconds. Is this the reason why this is like this? Is this the reason why this is like this? Is this the reason why this person sang? Or Gaya Kubu, say this one, this one, and this one. Is this the reason why this is like this? Very Dark Man raised the question. And Very Dark Man said, 
you can come clarify yourself before we push further. So Bob Risky was the one who made the call. If Bob Risky had not made the call, the question is where's Bob Risky? Now they said Bob Risky is supposed to lay an outside apology, public apology, just like the way they asked Verdak. Bob Wahala. As of rep invited very dark money was there, but Risky wasn't there. But Risky tried to evade the catcher. He tried to evade EFCC catcher. Why didn't Femi Falana raise noise and say, This guy is about this guy Shim is about to leave the country and is part of the case? Why was no action taken? Looking at it without saying anything, don't it raise some kind of questions within the normal sensible person? Who... Well, what Risky, for instance, even went as far and allegedly left the country soon after. If Falana, if Falana truly felt slighted, why not direct that same energy to Bob Risky? Why does he continue to pursue someone who is trying to spark positive change to those who support Femi Falak? Maybe it's time to question if he's truly using his power in the best way possible in life. It's not only about legal wins. It's about connecting with people, uplifting them, and making a lasting impact. And on that front, Very Dark Man seems to be resonating in a way that had, that is very hard and very difficult to ignore. Kamak Bior or Babafela, or no, or very dark man. To me, it can cause a bomb blast. And to the Fenny Falana fans, and to all who follow the actions of leaders in Nigeria, minority, let's speak frankly about respect and responsibility. The youth today, we are tired of being told to respect elders simply because of age or status. Especially when those elders aren't aligning their actions with the needs of the people. Respect should be earned, not demanded. And it should come from seeing leaders who fight for justice, uplifting the economy, and show genuine care for all Nigerians. Some case they where some people don't go carry the case until the case they public will be say the, the case gets named. If not Baba Fela, who would know certain individuals? Even Baba Fela that even know those people. If you say there's a big one, why Fela would they enter jail? And if you are truly a representation of Fela during that time, can't you see Fela inside this one in a way? They are not the same. We can't say very dark man is Baba Fela. No, Baba Fela is in a different level. But at least you can see that the person that was defending them had a similar attitude with the young guy that is coming right now. So if you were truly connected with that person, you should have seen the photocopy or, or his symptoms. Symptoms, yes, of his type of person when you see him doing the same thing in a different way and in a different time. Many young Nigerians are no longer willing to worship those who make choices based on personal interests while leaving the people's needs unaddressed. When leaders selectively pursue justice, only going after issues or individuals that suit their agenda, it sends a clear message. They are more interested in protecting their status and serving the public. The youth see this at this moment, and it's why they are drawn to figures like Barry Dagman, who is in just two years has fought tirelessly for change that affects everyday Nigerians. If truly the son has been a man who steps on others, as all that is being revealed these days show, then of course he'll continue to pursue this because his brain is already used to doing things like that way. But if I were him, or if I were to advise him, I'd honestly put an, an end to all this nonsense. And even though people might still drag them, for sure, yeah, people might still drag them, but the truth is people will appreciate it. Nigerians will appreciate it. Even if nothing else, it looks very bad putting one's own personal issues above that of the nation. And we're talking about gross illegalities here. It's absolutely shameful and troubling. And you don't have to care about doing the right thing. Honestly, don't care myself. But doing the commonsensical thing, doing the commonsensical thing is always going to be profitable. And in all of this, the son should have been should have partnered with someone like VDM. I am sad. The worst part of this is that I think the strange thing is that the founders should have realized that this is not only a time when social media wields a lot of power. Nigerians are looking for all sorts of things to manage their pains. Nigerians are unhappy. And everyone is online. Everyone is online right now. And so no matter what happens in the court system, even if you think you're going to game the system because this is a place where you have power and, and, and you have influence, the truth really is that no matter what happens now, everyone already believes that the son is going to use his influence because this is a system in which he plays. And so no matter the outcome, Nigerians will never see it as fair and just. I'm really, really sad at all this. Even if even if VDM is asked to pay a large amount, whatever happens at the end of this, if the son does not step back and now take the position of working to right the wrongs that have that have occurred not take the position of working to find out what actually went wrong, the illegalities that have been talked about here, and not 
work with VDM for the upholding of the law, there is nothing, there will be no redemption for the name and there will be no forgiveness by Nigerians. And this will be the legacy that's, it's just, it's sad. I'll, I'll end this here.